For many of you, this will be the first time you see me in daylight, so... <coughs> Welcome back to Encatino. So today I'm going to be making my version of smashed potatoes. Um, so, let's just get straight to it. What you'll need is a drizzle, a good drizzle, of an olive oil that you can use for frying and roasting. So this is just the light and colour one. Don't use extra virgin ever for cooking. The smoke point's low, it becomes carcinogenic. We're not trying to give ourselves cancer now. Uh, the next thing I have here is roasted red peppers that have been jarred. Um, so these are all things that are long lasting that you can keep in your cupboard. Um, this recipe is for about four people as a side dish. So I have about 750 grams of new potatoes or small sort of baby potatoes here that have been washed and dried. Some dried oregano, salt, garlic granules. I know chefs will get mad at me, why are you not using fresh garlic? But at the current time that we're in, it's best to have things that are a bit more long lasting. So it's powdered garlic, super easy. And then some fresh black pepper. So I'm just gonna add the new potatoes into a pan here and pour on boiling water. Make sure you salinate the water as well with the salt, just as you would with pasta. That needs to boil for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're soft and tender. In the meantime, preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Just quickly, while the potatoes are boiling, if you want to leave the room or you're busy doing other things, if you take a wooden spoon and lay it over the pan, you can keep it on quite a rapid boil and it won't boil over. I don't know how it works, I'm not a scientist but it works, it stops it from spilling out and ruining your lovely countertops or whatever. So, just a quick top tip. Okay, so after about 20-25 minutes, just take a fork, stick in the potato, if it goes straight through and it falls like this one should... You're fine. <laughs> okay, so take them off the boil and drain them. So whilst the potatoes are just cooling slightly, I'm going to get the sweet red pepper out of the jar. And it's the equivalent to about one red pepper. Obviously these have been in a kind of syrup pickle, so just take a paper towel and just pat them dry. Okay, so you're just going to want to cut them into bite-sized pieces, kind of, so. but in general it's just roughly chopped. Into a roasting tin, add your potatoes, followed by the pepper. So I just wanted to show you a little bit closer here, just take a mashed potato masher and just press down onto the potatoes. Don't completely mash them, give them some structure left, um, but it is smashed potatoes, it's kind of meant to be messy and a little kitschy, so don't worry about it being the most presentable thing. Next just drizzle a good amount of olive oil on top. This is going to help it crisp up and get really delicious and caramelised. A sprinkle of dried garlic, I'd say about a teaspoon total. And then I'd say just about a tablespoon of oregano. I'm just rubbing the dry ingredients because it releases the aroma and flavour a little bit better. A pinch of salt. and a good amount of black pepper. Just quickly and kind of haphazardly, I suppose, mix these together and make sure that the pepper is distributed fairly evenly. Okay, and then put your potatoes in the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes, depending on how well done you like them or depending on the heat of your oven. After about 35 to 45 minutes, they're ready and done. Just giving you a quick close-up of what to expect. So you can see it's kind of really crispy and caramelized, which is a fancy way of saying charred and burnt, but that's the goal. 
So here's what we are going for. So these are ready to serve immediately as is. If you're vegetarian or an omnivore, you could crumble a little bit of uh, feta cheese on top and it'd kind of get nice and gummy and delicious. That could be a serving suggestion. But if you're vegan, these are ready to go inside of many a dish. Um, you've got kind of this warmth and punch from the oregano, the delicious garlic sort of savory flavor that comes with that. A sweet kind of punch from the red pepper because it's been in the vinegar soaking. And then you've got carbs, which um, no explanation needed from the potatoes. So there's my smashed potato recipe and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe down below. Um, let me know if you substituted anything in this recipe um, that was really delicious and worked. Really, you don't need to use oregano, you could use it kind of a whole range of different dried herbs or fresh herbs. Um, it's just going to be a different kind of experience, obviously. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.